had a hankering for some Chicago hot dogs and a supercharger. Yeah, look at that. So we found a deal on a supercharger because what do you need when your transmission doesn't work? More power, baby. A lot of onions and peppers and pickle, I think. What have you tried it? I have tried it. Not a fan. It's too much. Never had a Chicago hot dog. Where's Dave when you need him? Doing that cripple up. So we just got to the place where we're buying the supercharger and here is the car that it came out of. This bad boy is getting downgraded big time. We're doing a coyote swap on this car, but I mean, we're downgrading the supercharger. Used to be in something really sweet, but very cool to look around in here. I go, you know, will, will you take, you had it for 12.5, but will you take 12 grand in cash for it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, windmills, he was doing the propeller blades. Those he are, just, I, I heard about what they charge. All right, so you'll see here. Supercharger, baby. So we're here in the outskirts of Chicago at Cary Performance. Uh, we just picked up our supercharger kit. It's a Paxton. Um, this place is this, legit. This place, they've got probably eight cars in there that are worth hundred grand plus. Like this, this guy has got crazy business. I feel a lot better about buying a supercharger from them. Okay, so we just left from getting a supercharger. Um, definitely feel a lot more comfortable being that they had an actual shop. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the best part was the free beer. You know, it only cost you know, over a thousand dollars for a supercharger to get four free beers, but four free beer. Think about it like this. We paid a thousand dollars for four beers and got a free supercharger. Can't pass uh, that deal up. You know, that's that's good boy math, right? So race car <laughs> math. So is a supercharger worth twelve hours in the car? T B D Traffic right at the end. Well, as you've seen, uh, we've taken out the transmission on it now, but now we decided it'd probably just be easier to stick out the engine too, and then to marry it with the with the new transmission. So Hunter this morning took out the headers and he drained the coolant, and now we're just gonna pull the engine right out, loosen everything together, and put it back in and be in and out of here in like 30 minutes. It's gonna be really good. You think it's gonna be about three minutes? 30. 30, 30 minutes. Yeah. 35. Just, just enough time to make it so we're a little too hungry for lunch. All right, so like two, three, four hours. Uh, we'll, we'll be ready for dinner just in time to make it to the steakhouse. Actually, fast food. Actually, a gas station at midnight. Maybe O'Reilly's. We're gonna lose the shop. All right, you're about to see this car get liberated from heading horse. Never again will it be naturally aspirated. Alright. Right now we're taking off the last of the engine mount bolts. We're gonna pull the entire engine out. So, engine we, up so we can start working on doing the transmission swap. Whoa! Ah! Sorry! No, it's, it's fine. Ah. It, as you can see, it's still got some fluids in it. Like a lot. Dude, get the bucket. This is like active. Alright, minor difficulties were dumping fluid all over the place. It's gotta be like almost half fluid at this point. So we've already got the other engine taken out, or the other transmission taken out. Not the engine, it's right here. We're gonna take the engine out so it's a little bit easier to get the transmission put on. And then we're going to start the top end assembly with the new supercharger and intake. Ah. Well, come on, wiggle it. Ah. Give me a little slap and tickle. There it is. Yay! 
six inches. I think we can get it up more. I was just saying, if we turn it, then we can just kind of tilt it to pull it out. Yeah. And plus, we can drop the car, too. Mm, no, because it'll hit that. Oh. Uh, go ahead. Pick it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. close the door. No, because we can't pull it out. Alright, turn phone back. Oh, you can go up. You can go high enough. You gotta go up like two, three more inches. But we're gonna hit your garage door. We can so turn, turn, it, turn oh, yeah. it and then we can drop it. Ah, look at it. Smart guy. It's lower, lower and slow. Okay, stop. Pull the whole thing out of them. Now you can lower more for the cigarette. That does look pretty cool. Yeah. You gotta lower <laughs> it and pull it out. Yeah, you can move. Here, wait, wait. Where's that? You wanna put that piece of wood across this? Lower it down, pull it out. You can see where our exhaust plates were. Oh, we got pulled out too, dude. This you, you did it on the wall. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You did it on the wall. It was perfect. Now, if you lower it, I'll just guide around to this. Weed and feed. But here, let hold on. I got a piece of wood we can put under that too. Or, yeah, look at that. There you go, drop it down. Jesus! There we go! And that is Project Falcon's engine. It's our most successful engine pull ever. 